This video clip shows you how to use Testing's hand-operated 8-litre and 5-litre air entrainment meters and explains the testing and calibration procedures. It is not a replacement for up-to-date test standards, instruction by authorised trainers or the official operating manual. The meter should only be used by technically qualified staff for the intended purpose in a safe operating condition and in conformity with national safety standards. Please note, mixing cement with water releases alkalis. When mixing concrete, take precautions to prevent cement entering the eyes, mouth or nose. Wear suitable protective clothing to avoid contact with wet cement or concrete. If cement or concrete comes into contact with your eyes, immediately wash them carefully with clean water and seek medical attention at once. Wash wet concrete off your skin immediately. The air entrainment meter consists of the following components. Cover assembly with pressure chamber. Ball shutoff valve A, left, and ball shutoff valve B, right. Hand pump with locking function. Pressure gauge indicating air entrainment in volume percent. Test relief valve, green button. Pressure correction valve, black button. Fast action clamps. Pressure air chamber for building up the pressure inside the top section by hand pump. Concrete test container. Calibration set. Manufacturer's official operating manual and visualization CD. Transport container with accessories and aids and optional attachment ring for filling the test container with concrete. Compacting equipment appropriate to the consistency, for example, a compacting rod made of steel, compacting bar made of steel, vibrating table, minimum frequency 40 Hz, Internal vibrator, minimum frequency 120 Hz. The air entrainment meter can be stowed in a transport container. The body is made of cast aluminium. The fresh concrete is filled into the container and compacted. The hand-operated 5-litre and 8-litre air entrainment meters have identical cover assemblies. To perform the test, Mount the cover assembly on the sample container and form a pressure-tight seal by closing the fast-action clamps. In the cover assembly, the test pressure is built up and the air entrainment is measured. The filling frame can optionally be used here. Air is bled from the container with the water escaping through the two ball shutoff valves A and B. The air pressure is built up by means of the built-in hand pump. The test pressure valve with the green button and the valve for correcting the initial pressure with the black button are located together with the pressure gauge on the cover assembly. The pressure gauge scale reads from 0 to 100%. In the range from 0 to 8%, each graduation represents 0.1% air content. Start the test by pressing the green button. The purpose of the test is to measure the air content in volume percent in fresh concrete by the pressure gauge method. All the air entrainment meter's interior surfaces that come into contact with concrete must be clean and free of oil, fats, dust, grease and residue from earlier testing. Before testing, always release the pump rod by unscrewing it. Only screw down the pump rod to lock it for transportation purposes and when cleaning with water. Never perform a test with the pump rod screwed down. It should always be freely movable. Remove the cover assembly and wipe the interior surfaces of the container with a soft sponge. Optionally, mount the filling frame when filling. 
Fill in the fresh concrete in one or more layers, depending on its consistency, the method of compaction and the requirements of the standard. Using the scoop, place the concrete in such a way as to remove as much entrapped air as possible. Compact each layer in the container to remove air bubbles. Fill the last layer to a level slightly overflowing the container and compact to remove air bubbles. Depending on the consistency or the regulations, the concrete can be compacted using the vibrating table, the compacting rod, the internal vibrator or compacting bar. Please note the exceptions. Self-compacting concrete, for example, the container should be filled in one operation and no mechanical compaction should be applied. After the concrete has been compacted, strike off the concrete level with the top of the container using the compacting rod. Smooth the surface with the trowel or float. Thoroughly clean the flanges of the sample container and cover assembly, particularly the sealing edge, with a sponge or moist cloth. Place the cover assembly with its interior moistened on the sample container. Line up the red dot on the cover assembly with the red dot on the sample container. Form a pressure tight seal between the cover assembly and sample container by simultaneously snapping down the fast action clamps in opposite pairs. Tap the sample container with a rubber hammer or mallet to remove any remaining trapped air. Open ball shutoff valves A and B. Using the squeeze bottle or syringe, inject water into the left hand valve A until the water has completely displaced the air between the lid and the concrete surface. Tilt the meter to the left so that the right hand valve is approximately vertical and is now the highest point for the air and water to escape. When the water emerging at the right-hand valve is free of bubbles, the container is also free of air bubbles. Then close both shut-off valves. Using the hand pump, build up pressure in the pressure chamber until the black pointer on the pressure gauge comes to rest behind the red marker. Then wait a few seconds to allow the air in the pressure chamber that has been heated by the pumping action to cool down to ambient temperature. Now, briefly press the black correction button to bring the black pointer precisely over the red marker. Tap the pressure gauge lightly with your finger until the pointer has come to rest. Then, repeatedly press the green button of the overflow test shutoff valve to allow the air from the pressure chamber to flow into the test container. Tap the sides of the container sharply with a mallet or rubber hammer to remove any remaining trapped air. Press the green test button again and tap the pressure gauge gently until the pointer has come to rest. Read the indicated value of the air content of the compacted fresh concrete to the nearest 0.1% on the pressure gauge. Open valves A and B slowly in order to release the pressure before removing the cover assembly from the container. While doing this, hold one hand over the valve to guard against water spurting out at the sides. Open the fast action clamps and take off the cover assembly. Open the relief test valve by pressing the green button to allow residual air to flow out of the pressure chamber. The black pointer moves back until it reaches its initial position at 100%. After the test, the sample container must be immediately emptied and cleaned.
Initial pressure means the correct position of the red marker on the pressure gauge. This point may be different due to factors in the system. It is preset in the factory but should be checked occasionally, especially before calibrating. It can be determined by the user as follows. Take off the cover assembly of the container and push the supplied 8mm thick hose into the threaded hole beneath valve A on the underside of the cover assembly. Then fill the sample container to the brim with water. Mount the cover assembly back on the container lining up the red dots. Then form a seal by snapping down the fast action clamps in opposing pairs. Open both valves A and B. Using the syringe, continually inject water into the left-hand valve A. Tilt the unit to the left while doing this until the water emerging at the right-hand valve B is free of air bubbles. Immediately close both valves and using the hand pump build up the pressure until the pointer comes to rest behind the red marker. Wait a few seconds until the air in the pressure chamber has cooled to ambient temperature. Carefully press the black correction button to position the black pointer precisely over the red marker. Tap the pressure gauge gently with your finger. When the pointer is over the red marker, the point of the initial pressure has been set. This must be checked in the test. To do this, repeatedly press the green relief test valve until pressure compensation has been achieved. Gently tap the pressure gauge until the pointer has come to rest. If the pointer shows 0%, the position of the red marker is correctly set since there is no air in the container. If the black pointer goes past the 0% mark, for example to 0.2%, correct the display. The red marker for the initial pressure must be moved to the left by the same distance. If the black pointer is below the 0% mark, it must be corrected by moving the red marker to the right by a corresponding amount. Do this by removing the screw ring and plexiglass pane of the pressure gauge and moving the red marker as described. Screw the ring on again and carry out the test once more with the new setting. After the initial pressure has been set, a calibration can be performed to check that the pressure gauge is displaying the correct air content. Screw a 4mm tube from outside onto the left-hand valve A. Hold the tube in a graduated calibration cylinder with at least 500ml capacity and carefully open the left-hand valve A. Pressing the green button allows water to flow into the calibration cylinder. Removing 400 milliliters corresponds to 5% if the 8-liter container is used or to 8% with the 5-liter container. Allow the calibration cylinder to fill up to 400 milliliters, for example, then close the left-hand valve A. Determine the mass of water displaced in the calibration cylinder by weighing on a balance and record the weight as M3. First, Carefully open the right-hand valve B, then valve A, to allow the pressure to escape from the container. Build up the pressure using the hand pump until the pointer comes to rest past the red marker. Then close both valves. Wait a few seconds until the air has cooled to ambient temperature. Carefully press the black correction button and lightly tap the pressure gauge with your finger to position the pointer precisely over the red marker. Repeatedly press the green relief test button to allow the air to flow into the container. Tap the pressure gauge lightly with your finger again until the pointer has come to rest. Read off the result in percent. 
calculate the air content A1 in percent of the weighed quantity of water M3 in the measurement cylinder. For example, 400 grams divided by the weight of the water-filled container M2, for example, 8,000 grams, determined by weighing as in the example calculation. Compare the result with the value displayed on the pressure gauge, e.g. 5%. If the calculated value is identical to the value displayed on the pressure gauge or has a maximum deviation of plus or minus 0.1% air content, the display of the air entrainment meter is correct and has been calibrated. If this value is not reached, send the air entrainment meter back to the factory for inspection. After calibration, open the right-hand valve B and allow the pressure to escape from the container. Open the fast-action clamps, take off the cover assembly and remove the calibration tubes from the top section. Press the green test button to allow residual air to flow out of the pressure chamber. This video clip shows a typical example of how to operate the air entrainment meter from Testing Berlin as per EN 12350 Part 7 Edition 2009 and visually describes the testing and calibration procedures. The video clip is not a replacement for up-to-date test standards, instruction by authorized trainers or the official operating manual of the 5-litre and 8-litre air entrainment meter. National safety regulations must also be observed.